Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your, is it in the cards, May 2021 Love Tarot Reading. This is a love reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, I'm glad you're here. Welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days. You can check a different part of your chart. Or look around on Mondays because this week is a love reading, but most weeks are general readings. And the format is different every Monday. So there's a lot of variety on those Monday readings. Thanks to everybody who's been subscribing and hitting that like button and just watching readings. Some of you have been with the channel for over a year now, and I really appreciate you. It means the world to me. So thank you for everything you've done. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. Then you'll know if anything new is posted here. All right. What guidance do you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about love? What advice do you have for Cancer, please? What does Cancer need to know about love, please? Okay. All right. So we will begin here. And we'll draw three cards for you, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards for the advice. Then we'll have the angel answers and a message from Louise Hay. So you have here in your energy the Empress, the Hermit, and the Fool. Love that. They have the Five of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Your advice is the Five of Swords, the Lovers, and the Four of Cups. So interesting reading you've got a very mature energy here that's for sure you've got a you definitely have a soulmate here no doubt about that and if it's been for some reason if you've been like if it's a reconciliation i feel like more like it's new love but for those of you that are asking about reconciliation because they have a little bit of heartache there for sure um but it, it definitely is coming back around you may have some things to work out though um so you have here virgo you've got uh, Gemini, you have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you've got earth and you've got air here. So, I mean, who wouldn't want this, right? You've got with the Empress, it is a card of great beauty, of deep love, and it's unconditional love. They have unconditional love too, by the way, in their energy. But it's that kind of, that kind of, you're, you're the kind of person here where people feel immediately comfortable with you. They feel like they could talk to you about anything, especially with the fool here, because the fool is an, a completely non-judgmental energy, as is the hermit, really all three of these. So you're coming across in a very non-judgmental, open, loving way. And so you're definitely going to be attracting situations. And you may say, well, I haven't met anybody yet. Well, monitor your day-to-day -day interactions. Does it seem like you're having more interactions that feel fun? They're uplifting you walk away just feeling good inside that's this energy so the empress is also the mother of the tarot um so some of you if you're looking to start a family you've definitely got the right energy here with the empress and she can be an energy though of overindulging so be aware of that a little bit just because she loves even though she's perpetually pregnant the energy of this card loves loves a lot of sex, a lot of food, a lot of drink. And so you have to be aware of that just because, you know, moderation, right? We don't want to get too far off into that energy. That's sort of the shadow aspect of it. But there's new opportunities all over, all around her. Now, the hermit re represents being on the right path in your destiny in this life. The hermit is a card of deep spirituality, a shaman. He holds that lantern to guide you through situations where maybe you felt uncertainty he brings you clarity, certainty, and wisdom. There's great wisdom in the hermit. And so with that too, you may attract people with your intellect where people see you as having, the phrase intellectual prowess comes in, but they may see you in a very, um, it's like in a mild-mannered way though. They see it in a way that they find very sexy because it's not brash, it's not arrogant. It's There's something about it though that is attracting people. Now, the fool is all about trust, enthusiasm, and new beginnings. It's taking a leap of faith. And in a relationship, it's great fun because there's no holding back here. The fool will do will go out and do anything. It's the kind of energy where you both go skydiving. I see somebody on a tandem bike just laughing their ass off. 
I mean, it's that kind of a relationship, and that may just be spirit showing me it's great fun because you're not restricted or fearful. The fear has released all resistance and is wide open to love. And there's honesty, there's integrity there. It's all over your energy. So like I said, you attract this. You Anything that you're attracting is a match to this. So it's beautiful. So with the person you are attracting here, um, they have had, like I said, they've had some heartache with that five of cups. They've had some kind of disappointment here. But I do feel like they've recovered from it with the Ace and of Cups and the King of Pentacles here. The Five of Cups, too, could have been a, a part of their life where maybe they had a little bit of depression. And, of course, with this pandemic, I think a lot of people have been afflicted. and it, Or it's been continually disappointing. And it may have done something to bring them some wisdom. But with it being a Five, it is a change. Now, the Ace of Cups is a beautiful energy. Like I said, it's completely unconditional love. It's deep, though. I mean, it runs deep. And it's not, you know, it's love is never, never dies, right? Energy is never created or destroyed. It continues to exist. So if you are energetically connected with someone, I mentioned reconciliation, I think, or maybe I just thought it. At one point, and there was a breakup, you're still connected with them vibrationally. There may be things all the time that you see. Maybe they loved birds and you keep seeing blue jays and cardinals and there's some little cardinal that follows you every time you take a walk and it's some attraction from them at some point of attraction now for new love though it is a love that endures and lasts it's a new love a new passion and you feel pulled towards this person and they have a mutual energetic tie to you there's something about it that is energetically interwoven and so with the King of Pentacles, it also, this brings in that stability. It's somebody who's very grounded and they may be very financially established and set and they may work in business or have some kind of a management position. But I feel like overall, they're very stable mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and they have a lot to offer. So with this, um, they're very charming too. I feel like it's the kind of person where, I mentioned before there's some kind of supervisor because I see people really paying attention when they talk. Maybe they're a teacher or something too. But they definitely have a captivating energy about them. And you'll be captivated, but who could resist you? I mean, it's not like you're going to be playing a game of chase here. So with this, with the lovers being interwoven in between two cards that are a little difficult here. I mean, is it in the cards... Yes, but there is definitely with that four of cups, that can be a card of boredom, okay? So if, you're, if, if you've just found, because your vibration is so high, the way it's represented, maybe you're finding you haven't been attracting people that have been quality and you're waiting for that lovers, you're waiting for that match. I mean, that is, you know, it's Adam and Eve. Part of the lovers though is about impressing your subconscious. Eve rep represents the subconscious Adam represents the conscious mind. And so for some of you, there's an indication here to work on your subconscious to reprogram it. And there's lots of good, you know, stuff from Joe Dispenza to Bruce Lipton to Greg Braden, all kinds of good teachers on that. But your subconscious believes what you tell it. So if you wonder what is my subconscious program for in the realm of relationships, well, look at the relationships around you. That's your indicator. So with the Five of Swords, it's definitely not wanting drama, not wanting any conflict. And part of this may be indicating that when you enter this relationship, you're both looking to uplift, like you've learned from those negative experiences. So the Four of Cups is not, it feels to me like it's not going out with a variety of people. Like you just haven't found this person. You're, you're wanting to attract somebody who's a match and you're not willing to you know, lower yourself down, vibrationally speaking, to be with somebody you know it's not sustainable. But with the lovers, it is. I mean, it's guided by Archangel Raphael. It's a card of a relationship that changes how you look at the world. It's going to be a very important relationship for you. And it may be it may take on new form if you've had some relationships where there's been a lot of tension or criticism in the relationship that also may be an indicator that it's like starting in a new way, starting a relationship in a way that you've never experienced it before. So be open to it. So I think I said it is in the cards, 
But let's see what the angels have to say. And then we're going to hear from Louise Hay. I think I forgot it with one of the signs. I forgot our Louise message. I had a, a reading for Gemini where quite a few clarifiers came out of the deck and it took on a life of its own. So we will not forget Louise today. And let's see about a timeline here for Gemini. Those middle cards, pesky middle cards. All right, you have here, if you believe, okay, you probably have had that one before. Ask, believe, receive. No, there's billions of people out there. Of course there's someone for you. Look for a sign. So we talked about that, right? You know, there could be synchronicities all around you. There may be animals that you see that you have a certain feeling about or a belief about or phrases or a person's name. Or you may just come across something that leads you into meeting someone new. Um, so with this though, it, I mentioned too, it could be reconciliation. It could also lead you back to somebody. Now you've got trust and trust that the universe always hears you. It's not the universe that gets confused. It's us not being clear about what we want, right? We're in this human experience and sometimes it's baffling. So with this, let's see, the um, timeline, they say you're ready right now. I can believe that. And you've got a yes, okay? So there's something beautiful happening here. And again, um, Cancer, I just love your energy in this. All right, so I connect with nature today. And with the Four of Cups, that also can be a sign of being in nature. Um, spend time outdoors today. Breathe in fresh air. Relax under a tree. Take in the whole sky. Notice that nature isn't judging you. Okay, so again, there's a very non-judgmental energy in this reading. And so it doesn't surprise me that that message would, would come in for you. There's something really coming together here and in flow. Good things are happening for you, Cancer. I love you and I'll be back again soon.